is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. He is risen indeed. And what a day it is. And the falls are saying it's going to be 65 degrees today. Throw open your windows. Let the sun and the breeze come through. And know that Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. One day when we can gather again, we'll celebrate Easter together. And what a day of rejoicing that will be. But in the meantime, even with everything going on, know that He is risen. When you're shut in your house and, and feeling down, know that He is risen. When you get home tired from the hospital or other essential work, work worn from the worries and the decisions and not knowing which his shoe is going to fall next, know that He still is risen. When you get laid off and you don't know what this will mean, when you feel the weight of the cross on your back, know that even then, Christ is risen. That you are not alone. Jesus bore the cross and went through death and He is risen. He is with you now and where you are and He won't leave you alone. He is risen indeed. Because Christ is risen, we shall arise. Christ is risen indeed. Hallelujah. We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts from the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Most merciful God, we confess, we confess that we are back to sin and not free ourselves. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your holy name. Amen. Children of God, know this. In the mercy of Almighty God, Jesus Christ was given to die for us. And for his sake, God forgives us all our sins. As a called and ordained minister of the Church of Christ and by his authority, I therefore declare to you the entire forgiveness of all your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our hymn is number 151 in the Lutheran Book of Worship, Christ, Jesus Christ is Risen Today.
Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Let us rejoice 
and be glad in it. Our second reading is from the third chapter of Colossians. So if you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ. When Christ, who is your life, is revealed, then you also will be revealed with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, the 28th chapter. Glory to you, O Christ. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descending from heaven came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him, the guards shook and became like dead men. But an angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus. He has been who is crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised, as he said. Come and see the place where they lay. Then quickly go and tell his disciples, He has been raised from the dead, and indeed he is going ahead of you into Galilee, and there you will see him. This is my message for you. And so they left the tomb quickly, with fear and great joy, and ran to tell his disciples. And suddenly Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came to him and took hold of his feet and worshipped him. Jesus said to them, do not be afraid. And Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. The grace to you and peace from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. A tiny acorn clung to a branch. It was fallen all around the other nuts had fallen off, but this acorn would not. I am the highest acorn on the tallest tree, it thought. I will stay here and I can see the world and all the world will see me. They will know me. On and on it clung. He couldn't see the acorns anymore way down below, but he thought, because I'm way up high, they will all see and they will all know me. This is who I am. Or so he thought. One day, a little bird came and sat next to the little acorn and pecked at it, and it fell, dropping and bruising branch to branch all the way until it hit the ground, and since the tree was on a hill, it struck it and rolled down the hill until it came to a stop. And the ground was uncomfortable and hard, and the little acorn was bruised all over. Then the fall rains came, and the hard ground got muddy, and the acorn began to sink into the mud. And a boy came, and the acorn went to cry out, See me! Put me up high again! But the boy did not see, and instead stepped right on him and pushed him down into the mud. And then the leaves came and covered the mud, and the snow fell and covered the leaves, and there the acorn lay, hidden bruised, unseen, and it thought, forgotten. It tried to push its way up. It tried to call out, but there beneath the snow and the leaves and the ground, no one could hear. It was completely hidden, forgotten. I guess this is who I am, cried the little acorn. Or so it thought. Slowly the little acorn stopped, 
and slept and died. Or so it thought. Then the snow melted and the leaves had slowly been churned into soil and there in the ground the acorn lay and something pushed it. Something pushed at it, but it wasn't from the outside, it was from the inside. Something the little acorn hadn't known was there and it pushed and it pushed and it pushed until the acorn cracked and split open. And there in a rush, anything was a rush in those days, the acorn lay there. Something green and moving and alive reached up and out. And suddenly dawned a new thought. I was not forgotten. I was not alone. I was hidden only to rise. This was put in me all along, and I did not know it. This is who I am. So he thought, and he was right. Brothers and sisters, hear Paul say in Colossians 3, So if you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, is revealed, then you also will be revealed with him in glory. A little acorn, when it goes into the ground, the life it thought it had, swinging from the trees, floating in the breeze, is dead. That is gone. It is dead, and not just pretending. But in it, there was put a hidden life it never knew it had, a mighty oak tree that it never knew was there. Seek the things that are above, faith, hope, love. Those are the mighty oaks of life, of true life. Paul says, for you have died. Duh, we get that right now, don't we? You have died, not just pretending, but your life is hidden in Christ. Your real life is hidden there. There is here in this shell life through Christ, Spirit. It's through death that God brings life. It's when we go to the cross that Christ meets us. It's when our strength is gone that He gets us to our feet again. When Christ, who is your life, is revealed, you also will be revealed with him. We can't see it all, but Christ is arisen. What a new life is being revealed. As Christ was revealed, what a new life is being revealed to you, even now. Now, normally we would talk and we would eat on this Easter and we would get together and celebrate but what can we do now? And what is being revealed to you? Here's an idea. Today and in the next couple days, take a picture or write something down about something that is being revealed of new life to you. Maybe if you're hiding Easter eggs with your family, do one and take a picture that's just peeking out so that people can barely see. So it's a little hidden, hidden egg in a picture. And send it along, text it to me, or, or email it, share it. Or maybe take a picture of a leaf that's just coming into bud, just being revealed for what it is, or a flower. Or maybe write something down, maybe it's a friend that you've been talking to lately, and a new facet of life, of that friendship, has been revealed, brought out, even in this time. Write that down and send it in. Send your pictures or your thoughts. You can text them to me or email or call or send them to the office. And with your permission, we will get to share some of those next week with our next worship and see what new life has come even in the midst of this time. Let's share that and be lifted up together. And in where you are, know that Christ went to the cross 
and has come to life again, and with you brings life. For your life has been hidden in Christ with God. And as He is revealed, so life will be revealed for us too. Amen. Pulse, 
The stars shine and galaxies whirl in glorious harmonies to honor you. Let us hear and blend our voices in the song, Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. The countries of the world experience disunity and conflict. When we set our minds on fear and greed rather than on your rule of justice and steadfast love, build up all countries of your cornerstone of peace, Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We still weep with those who weep and mourn with those who mourn. Cradle the fearful, the suffering, and the dying, assuring them of your love and presence, especially Betty Thomas, Barb Yates, Jen Woodard, Chuck and Nancy Paulus, and those who are in nursing care, Esther Thomas, Carol Wunget, Dorothy and Jean Trepto, Jan Schrock, Kathy Rupp, and Carly Stover. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Bless the creative and helpful service of worship leaders this day, musicians, ushers, greeters, worship assistants, preachers, readers, and all who welcome in hospitality in our midst. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of our refuge and strength, be our stronghold as we do battle with COVID-19. Help all our first responders, especially Gwen, Kathy, and Liz, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Risen Lord, you went ahead of us into the grave and defeated the powers of evil. We remember those who died, have died, especially Jerry Bronco, Joe Hopes, Mitch Lucas, and Elizabeth Seifert, Seifert, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. With bold confidence in your love, Almighty God, we place all for whom we pray into your eternal care, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. At this point we would share our offering and again today we give thanks for the resurrected Christ and his life among us and the way that he through his body the church reaches out and care towards others we thank you for giving your lives for one another and care and doing the things that we are called to do we thank you for those who have been giving still to this ministry and we thank you for all the ways that you reach out to others. Now let us pray. God of justice and love, we give you thanks that you illumine our way through life with the words of your Son. Give us the light we need, awaken us to the needs of others, and at the end, bring all the world to your peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit we honor in glory forever. Amen. Amen. The Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Now the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you his peace. Amen. Amen. Our sending hymn is number 143. Now all the vault of heaven resound. Verses 1, 2, and 4.
peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.